Hey y'all, it's Jen. Welcome back. So today I thought I would try something different and try my hand at these weekly reset videos. I plan on them just being relaxing and cozy, just something you can put on, have on in the background, and we can get some stuff done together. I plan to just include a little bit of everything in these videos, a little bit of cooking, cleaning, decorating, and so I hope you guys enjoy it. I will either be posting these on Sundays or Mondays. Y'all can let me know which one works better for you, but let's get on started with today's video. So right now when I'm filming, this was actually before Memorial Day weekend, so I wanted to jazz up my front porch a little bit for summer, adding just a tiny bit of patriotic decor. And I got that little basket you saw me show from Ross for $14.99, and it was super big, so I was super happy to find that. And I just love the impact that it makes on our front door, and it's something different than, you know, just a regular wreath. So I just popped some faux greenery in there and then I had one of these larger flags. I put that in there, another piece of greenery, and then a smaller American flag. Thought it's really simple but really cute. And speaking of something different, I decided instead of ferns hanging on my front porch this year, I would do kind of a hanging basket with a mixture of things. So I actually found these baskets and then this whole potted kind of mixture already done at Lowe's. So I just bought two of those and then transferred them over and they've done so well. I'm super proud of myself. They've maybe lasted longer than my ferns usually do. So I hope you guys had a good Memorial Day weekend last weekend. Actually, not last weekend, the weekend before last weekend. Um, we actually went to the beach this last weekend. But anyway, let me know what you guys did for Memorial Day. We actually just had family over on Sunday, I think it was, and we grilled out, which you guys will see here in just a minute what all we cooked. But it was so fun. It was nice weather, and it's just always fun to kind of have family over and get to see everybody and just relax and talk and catch up and all that good stuff. So for our cookout, Darren smoked some baby back ribs, and those are always super good. We have fell in love with the 3 to one method, and he puts barbecue sauce on the end, and they are just perfect and delicious. And of course, I made a couple sides to go with that. I'm going to show y'all the most perfect and easy, foolproof pasta salad. 
So this pasta salad recipe is literally so easy. It doesn't require a ton of ingredients, but the ingredients that you do use just make it super delicious. And honestly, everybody likes it. It also doesn't have any dairy, so it's super friendly to everybody's types of diets and things like that. So anyway, you're gonna need 16 ounces of your favorite pasta. I really like to use the, y'all, I'm gonna butcher this. Farfell, Farfell. <laughs> I literally don't even know how to say that. The bow tie pasta. Why did I just go with bow tie? Anyway, I'm gonna use 16 ounces of bow tie pasta. You use whatever you like. And then I originally started making this at our Halloween party last year. And to make it Halloween colors, I used orange bell pepper and black olives just to be, you know, Halloween colors. So I'm using some bell peppers and some olives. Feel free to use whatever other veggies you want. If you wanna use cucumber, carrots, celery, whatever you wanna put in there, but it's really good this way. So I'm just adding those into my cooked and drained and rinsed pasta. And then we're gonna add two more ingredients here in just a second. So add those in and give that a quick little stir. All right, here are the two ingredients that you gotta have. You need some Olive Garden Italian dressing or any other kind of Italian dressing. And then it's the McCormick Perfect Pinch Salad Supreme Seasoning. You're just gonna use about, I think I used about a cap full of that, yes, per pound of pasta. And then I measured out the dressing. Normally I just kinda eyeball it. I think I used two thirds a cup. And you go ahead and stir that up together and you want to let this sit at least about an hour to let those seasonings kind of soften and kind of marry everything together but then at the end you can go back in with a little drizzle more of the dressing just to kind of loosen everything up again and kind of freshen it up right before you serve it and this is so good I could just eat a big bowl of this for a meal and be perfectly happy so make sure you give this recipe a try Oh, and I also definitely Googled how to say that pasta. So the word actually means butterfly in Italian. Did not know that. And the Italian pronunciation is farfalle, farfalle, or just farfalle. So there you go. I'm gonna be saying bow tie pasta.
We also tried a new margarita recipe on this day, so I thought I would share that. So I'm using about one or one and a half ounces of tequila. This is the Altos brand, and it is pretty good. And then we used about, I don't know how much, a little bit of the Key Lime LaCroix. And then you wanna do a little squirt of Lemonade Mio. Also a little splash of key lime juice. I'm gonna go back and add that. But this just makes a super low calorie, super light and refreshing margarita. It's really good, so you'll have to try this one too. All right, so it's actually a different day now, but I wanted to include this in today's video. So y'all may have remembered me talking about um, finding a solution for us not having a mudroom any longer. Our mudroom in our last house was definitely our drop zone where the kids drop things, where I drop things, and it stayed quite used, let's put it that way. So in this house, since we don't have a mudroom, I was looking for a solution. Well, you can kind of see that door behind me in our foyer. We actually turned that closet that was not being used into a mud closet. So I finally found some baskets that fit the way I wanted to. So I was just kind of transferring all those shoes and things that had got placed into there and getting rid of the ones that didn't fit. And now you'll see me place those in the bottom of our new mud closet. They fit so well. I found these at TJ Maxx. I wanted something kind of large, large enough to fit everything, but something that also looked nice as well. And I think that was a perfect fit. Next, we have been using these little puck lights. I'll link them below. They came from Amazon. They're great for lots of different spaces, but this closet did not have a light switch or anything. So we used a few of these. There's also one above the door on the inside and it comes with this little remote and it's perfect. You can make them dim, bright, you can even put them on a timer if you want to in certain places. But now I'm gonna show you the before of this little closet. So I think the previous owners used this like an audio video closet. It had their radio like stereo type thing in here and it had their router and all that stuff. So we actually had all that moved and then Darren built the shelves and everything which you will see. So there is one view, here's another one. It just took up way too much space. We couldn't really use it with all this stuff in there. So let me show you the after. So here is the after of the little mud closet. It has those big baskets in the bottom and then on top is a bench for all the kids' storage. We've been using this for a few months now. It just hasn't been finished. That's why I haven't showed you guys yet, but it worked absolutely perfectly for us this school year. Has the hooks there for the kids' backpacks with kind of that board and batten style, um, just some accents in the back. And then more baskets on top. I found these at TJ Maxx as well. I really like them because they match the ones on the bottom and so it just gives this closet a more organized feel and also my favorite part is that it has a door on it so even though our last mudroom didn't I actually like this better because if it gets kind of messy and just shut the door and I don't have to worry about it I also thought I would just take y'all around and show you how I decorated for Memorial Day, 4th of July, kind of my summer decor. It's nothing too crazy, but I really like how it turned out. Just super festive and cozy and just kind of fun. So here is how I did the mantle this year. I just added a few little touches of that patriotic Americana decor. You'll see I did add some of my Christmas decor, that little red candle up there. And then I love how I put these lanterns here on the bottom of our fireplace this year. I added a candle on a little stand with a candle ring to one. And then the other, I just stuck a little faux greenery plant in there and stuck one of those little American flags right down in there. And also I put that one on this little stool that came from Hobby Lobby this year. And I just love those tones of wood. I love how all this looks together. 
and then out here on our back porch I did just a little bit just something simple as well since we're always out here but y'all let me know how you like today's video if you would like to see more in this style and thank you so much for watching I had so much fun filming this I hope y'all have a great week and I'll see you real soon in my next video bye y'all